What's going on everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Tuesday at almost close to midnight actually and just got back from the gym. I'm sorry I haven't posted any videos for the past couple of days. I uh, decided to take off for the holiday. I did have a uh, Christmas special that I was going to publish but that actually violated the uh, YouTube's uh, terms and terms of service. Uh, apparently, I actually had a noose decorated in Christmas lights, but eh, enough about that there. It was probably not in good Christmas spirit anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go over a, a number of things that have happened in the past couple of days here. So there's going to be a block of videos uh, that I've already produced, and I'll be releasing those shortly. But, you know, I want to touch base on some of the most recent news, and that is... Uh, Dennis Wolf getting back into uh, competition there. And I know a lot of you guys ask me what are Dennis Wolf's chances here. Uh, and I'm just going to be flat out honest there. First and foremost, I want to really see Dennis Wolf compete. You know, he's an uh, astounding competitor. He's won a number of shows. You know, he's been definitely a serious Mr. Olympia contender. Uh, so I do want to really see uh, Dennis Wolf uh, compete, and I think a lot of his fans also want to see him compete as well there. Uh, but there's going to be a couple of things that's going to hold him back. Now, the reason why Dennis Wolf actually stopped competing, I believe, was because he had uh, some spinal issues and he had some cervical surgery, uh, which put him out of action for quite some time. Uh, with him competing, I'm pretty much sure that that is actually healed there. Uh, but that's not his actual biggest issue in terms of competing. Uh, you know, it's definitely a different time than since Dennis Wolf's competed. And there's a number of hungry cats out there uh, that are that have physiques that, you know, blow away even Dennis Wolf's best physique there, uh, unfortunately. You know, you have Big Rami, and then you have a couple of other big cats that have been coming up there. So... As far as Dennis Wolf is concerned there, uh, because he's not competed in so long, he is going to have to re-qualify for the Mr. Olympia. So he's going to have to do a bunch of shows, and with doing those shows itself there, it gives him less of a chance actually to, you know, win the Mr. Olympia. Because, you know, the more shows you do over the year's time before the Mr. Olympia, the tougher it is to actually get prepared for the big event there. Uh, but in which case, I think Dennis Wolf should have at least a two-year plan uh, in terms of getting back in stage. He needs to, you know, do a couple of regional shows first. I wouldn't recommend him doing the Arnold Classic there. Just do a couple of Grand Prix shows, a couple of other smaller shows like the Australian Pro, and a number of these other league shows just to get his feet wet and see where uh, he stands in terms of the rest of the competitors. Once he does that, he does the big shows, you know, he gets enough points in order to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. And at that point in time, he shows up, and then once he gets him back into that top five, you know, he'll be able to uh, take an entire year off, put some more size on, and then possibly be back in that Mr. Olympia contention there. But in the meantime, with him starting back and competing, uh, I would seriously doubt that, well, unless he goes out and does the uh, Arnold Classic and wins a show or wins another one of these uh, smaller events or so forth, which is going to be pretty hard to do, but not impossible at all. If he wins any of the smaller shows or the Arnold Classic or so forth, that gives him an immediate qualification for the Mr. Olympia. So it is quite doable. I would try to do the most earliest uh, small event that's out there. I've not looked at the uh, 2018 schedule, but I think that's what Dennis Wolf really needs to do is to look at, you know, the smallest regional show, you know, nail down that first place, uh, which I'm sure that he can actually do because even his physique should be enough to beat everyone else. Get that Olympia qualification, and once he gets that Olympia qualification, then, you know, take that time off there and actually do the Mr. Olympia. Uh, that's in a good case scenario, but if not, I would at least have a two-year plan, do as many small regional shows, get his name back out there, possibly even do the Arnold Classic if he feels up to it there. Don't worry too much about the Mr. Olympia. Once he got all his points, you know, take the rest of the year off. You'll have about a year and three or four months there uh, to put some size on, to rest, to grow, 
and getting back into that Mr. Olympia contention here.